Hey, you guys. In this video, I will be making sounds with this kind of like pop-up bubble sticker set. I think it sounds really, really good and I hope you guys like it too. I saw these at Dollar Tree and had to get them for a video. So this is the soft spoken version. There's a no talking version as well. And I've gotten the request comments and someone else on Instagram mentioned it that they'd love once in a while the talking videos to be without the mic so I'm not using the mic on this one so there's kind of a mixture of colors here there's pinks purples greens and blues on a clear plastic sheet. There's kind of like a turquoise and a lime green going on there. I like the kind of how it's like a gradation of colours in a way and I think it's really pretty how they lined up the colours. really good. You can see that the bottom of all the stickers is silver. It's a really bouncy sound. like little rainbows showing up in the reflection of the silver part. Rainbow sparkles. I've had this for some time but I have been waiting for the right nails to go with it and these did the trick. I'm still waiting for my Christmas themed nails to arrive. I keep checking on their tracking, like tracking um, to see where they are. I'm thinking they might be delivered in a couple of days. I'm filming this on a Friday. And then, so it could be like Monday or something. likely taking these nails off today and possibly trying to get you a natural nails video. I wasn't able to do that between the last few nails because of um, just like sometimes the nails are still a bit sensitive. The real nail because of them getting like messed up when I didn't know how to take them off properly, or the ladies at the salon didn't take them off properly. So I learned how to do it on my own, and now they're growing back thicker, but once in a while they still feel a bit sensitive. And for some reason, they did a few last, a few last times.
so this time I think I should be able to film the natural nails and they've got a slight, you know, a bit longer so it can make some sounds for you guys. on top too. The heater just went off, so sorry if you could hear the difference. It's been very, very cold. kind of see how my finger is bouncing along the side there. It's been um, really nice um, hearing about all the countries that you are from. I was like really surprised and excited that a lot of you on Instagram are from all over the world. Um, it's been really cool, like a lot of you who write to say hi, tell me where you're from and like today someone was telling me they're from Israel and um, to me that's super exciting. I, I asked a few questions back of like what are some of your favourite things about living in Israel? How long have you lived there? Were you born and raised, etc. Um, and then someone said hi to me from Chile. And I have found that there are a lot of, like, Denmark, Norway. And I oh, had yeah, someone from Italy said hi to me today. Um, again, said hi a while back I'm going through the DMs and it takes me some time but I'm kind of getting through them and like getting to say hi to people and respond and so I know you guys said hi a while back sorry it takes me a while to respond but I'm, I'm getting there so it is like really cool I've never been to Italy which is sort of funny because I'm Italian 
and very Italian in cult like culture, um, but not like like I, I, I'm you know born and raised in the United States, and so my family is Italian and culturally it's really strong in the family, but because I wasn't raised around other Italians. I didn't know I was really Italian, like I just thought that was how my family was. Really, really loud, Gregorious, lots of storytelling, um, de detailed storytelling, lots of hand movements, um, exaggerating, get excited about everything, very passionate, romantic, um, yeah, all of those qualities, and I didn't know meant Italian. I just thought that's how my family was because you know, the, the families like around me weren't exactly like that. Um, it was kind of unique I guess in comparison to the families I was surrounded by. And only one of my parents is Italian. However, that parent is 100% Italian, and the other parent is like a European blend, so the Italian seems to be like the strongest, strongest portion. And I'm um, just growing up around that side of the family, it was very, um, like a lot stronger influence than the other side spent a lot more time with that family. And my parent, who is 100% Italian, is 100% um, Italian. <laughs> I can't even tell you. I often, it just, I just like laugh. It's just, it's, it's really fun to be around, it's really funny. It can be slightly annoying, um, because one thing that Italians do is, like, we will repeat ourselves until we feel like we were heard. And, and what other people don't realise is that means you need to repeat back to us what we've said. And once that's been repeated, then we are okay. But until then, we will repeat ourselves over and over. So when it's like time for stories, someone to tell the stories in that family, it's a the longest story you could ever imagine. Every single detail is included, including um, made up details. And then, like my, I have some uncles who are particularly uh, guilty of that. And my parent, hundred percent. I think it's like it's like an exaggeration, exaggerate. But you you realise it once you've been around it enough. You're like, they will say one thousand people were there. That means ten people were there. It's sort of like time telling in certain cultures. If you tell someone to arrive by three, they will come at five or six. And it's, you know that. So when an Italian person is telling you a story and they say that, you know, 40 people gathered at their home, you know, 10 maybe were there. I guess if they say a thousand, maybe then more like a hundred. All that to say, my tangent is because someone was from Italy today, and it's just funny, I've never been there. And I didn't realise I was actually Italian until I was watching The Cake Boss. I kid you not. The Cake Boss is an Italian family living in New Jersey. TV show, reality show where they make cakes. It's a family business. I was watching it. I had an epiphany. Oh my gosh. That's Italian cult culture. 
because they were doing all the same things my family did. I'd never been around other Italian families. And I realised, oh, I'm actually quite Italian. But I don't speak Italian. And I've never been to Italy, so... But the culture is kind of deep-rooted, apparently. there, I would feel very validated as a person. <laughs> You're like, uh, that's why I do that. Uh, that's, that's why I say that. Uh, that's why. There's an entire country for this. <laughs> for all these shenanigans. Sounds like pulling these off. It's just kind of a bit of a click sound. Let's see if they're down when we do it. These are very like Eastery colours, I feel. The kind of pastels. Very spring. I guess I did buy these a while back, like I said, and waited for the right nails, but it wasn't that that long ago, I don't think. I'm going to give these two another little in my life who loves doing drawings with stickers. She will absolutely love this. I think I'm going to give her one of the sequin pillows too. She's going to love it. She's the same little one that I got that little hair kit for. If you saw the Dollar Tree haul, there's a little hair kit and she will love it. in almost all of my Christmas gifts for people. There's one more little little guy that I want to get maybe a couple more things for. Just small things like these, you know. And he loves he loves to read. If you've been with my channel for any time He's been in two videos. He was the really he was the one year old baby in the very beginning of my channel that I did like a little spoof of a baby doing ASMR. Those were his chunky hands. I love him. Oh my gosh, okay. And now no, his chunk is like gone. All his his he does not have any more hand dimples. He is six years old. I'm I'm happy for him growing up, but I'm also missing him his smallness. Uh, he was the cutest baby I've ever seen in my life. And I've seen a lot of babies. <laughs> cutest I've ever seen in my life. He destroys me. So he loves to read. Oh, the second video was not too long ago. He and his little sister did an ASMR video where they tapped and tapped on like a piano, I think it was, like a keyboard. And it was actually really tingly, especially him. 
His hands had a little bit of chunk there. Like he's still small, but... So I want him to find like a, maybe a book series for him. He reads at like a, I kid you not, probably fourth, fifth grade level and he's six. He's in kindergarten. It's just his jam. He's amazing at it and he loves it and he's been that way since he learned about the ABCs. So I want to get him like, you know, like a series like for kids to read, like you can read four books or something. If you have any suggestions and you have boys maybe that are around that, well, fourth grade reading. Let me know. But otherwise I've got all the gifts I think. I'm super excited about the gifts I've gotten for people. I'm having a hard time not giving them early. I'm going to try. I'm sure, certain, I will fail. But I'm going to try to get as close to Christmas as possible. I already caved and gave some gifts. <laughs> but I was just like wild on Amazon. <laughs> I was like, I've never, like, this is the first time having Prime free shipping on Amazon. And I'm like, I don't know what to do with myself. I don't have to order everything at one time. I can just go around in the day, middle of the day, find the thing I need for someone, purchase it, that's it. There's no extra fee for shipping. Um, it comes really fast. Like, I, I don't have to, like, bulk or order, like I said. So, anyway, it's been, like, every day there's, like, two orders going out to Amazon from me for the Christmas gifts. I'm also used to shopping in store more for Christmas gifts for some reason. I just... That's just what I usually do. So this has been different to get almost all the gifts online. But I'm not sure I will ever go back after doing this. I feel like I got better gifts even. I don't know, I had more variety and could really find like the niche thing that that person likes and needs. Hey you guys, thank you for listening to me ramble on about so many shenanigans. I hope that you enjoy these pop-up sticker sounds and that you are relaxed or asleep. So thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you next time.